Hello. To begin, we are going to click Create up here at this top bar. We are going to create an interactive soccer game. So Scratch automatically generates this sprite when you create any new project. So we can go ahead and delete that. Let's select a backdrop. We go down here, choose a backdrop. Let's go to Sports. And I like this backdrop so the players can play back and forth amongst the field. Next, we need to choose our sprites. If you hover over a sprite, it'll show you the different costumes that the sprite has. So we have one player. Let's choose another player. Now these players are a bit large for the playing field, so we can go down here and adjust their size. Let's see how the size 50 does. Perfect. Change him to 50. Now he is facing the direction we want, but she is not. So we go to direction, and we can go ahead and switch it to where she is facing the other direction, but we notice that she is now upside down. So we can go ahead and flip that again. Let's make it so where she's completely straight at negative 90. Awesome. And next we need a ball. So let's go and find a soccer ball. And our player's at the size 50, so let's go ahead and make the ball the size 50. And place it right in the middle of the field. To begin the animation, we are going to go to Events. And... Let's start with Ben. Ben is going to be the beginning player. So when the flag is clicked, the flag tells the animation to begin. So when we click the flag, that's when the animation is going to begin. A soccer game always has a referee whistling, so we can go ahead and have a referee whistle when the flag is clicked. And we want the player to wait a few seconds so we'll go to control wait we'll change it to two seconds until we want the player to move towards the ball for him to move towards the ball we are going to go to motion and have him glide to wherever our ball is let's check the ball's coordinates it's at one negative 85 so we go back to ben and change these coordinates to one negative 85. To make it fun, let's go ahead and switch his costume to the motion of kicking. If we go to costumes, we'll see that costume B is the motion of him kicking. And we can also have him say goal because he thinks that he is gonna make a goal for two seconds. Now for the sprites to understand that the ball is moving towards them, we need it to broadcast. So we go to events, broadcast, that the ball is now going to be moving towards Jordan. So ball moves to Jordan. So then we'll go to the ball. And when the ball receives, we're still at events, when the ball receives that the ball moves to Jordan, we're gonna go back to motion and have the ball begin to glide. Glide to where Jordan's position is. So let's check where her position is. It's 184, negative 56. So we'll go to 184 and change this to negative 56. And we need to inform Jordan that the ball is now at her. 
So we'll broadcast again a new message that the ball is at Jordan. So then we'll go to Jordan, and when she receives that the ball is at Jordan, we can go ahead and switch her costume as well to her kicking motion. We'll go and check and make sure. Yep, B is her kicking motion. And we can make her say, nice try, since she is blocking the goal. and broadcast that she is returning the ball. And let's make sure to go back to the ball because now the ball is at Jordan. We want the ball to return back. So when the ball receives the message that Jordan returns the ball, then the ball will glide to the position that we want it over here. We can go ahead and move the ball over in this direction so we can see the X and Y coordinates of where the ball is going to be and change it here on the coding. So it's gonna be negative 229 and negative 67. Now, since she has made a goal, we can go ahead and insert a sound. And to choose sounds, we'll go up here to sound, sports, and goal cheer. Go back here and change that to goal cheer. And let's return that back to where we want and let's watch our animation. Perfect. The ball has made it to the goal and both players have played it. Thank you for watching my animation.